sixth line days, when you look at the theme, the line of this day, you could see whether or not it has harmony or resonance with your profile. For me, it definitely has harmony. So on six line days, I'm a third line personality construct. It would feel way more comfortable than say a four or a one or is that it? Four, one, um, on the personality side anyway. And I'm on the unconscious side, I'm a five. So five and two is comfortable. So you can learn, look and learn on the six line day, look at all of the third and six line activations in your chart. You're going to be aware of this stuff potentially on the personality construct side. Remember the design works perfectly. You do not have to figure it out and you may be unaware of how it feels on the body side, but it can be an interesting surprise or a delight when it pops out. And then you look back on it with awareness after the fact, right? Anything that's on the design side, it happens that you're like, wow, unaware before it happens, maybe even as it's happening until you get a sense of the feeling. For me, I say feeling because I'm emotional and feeling cognition. Please understand. You're going to interpret this in your own way. But for me, I know what it feels like now because I've experienced it. So you can start to look at your activations on each of these days and see what are you resonating with? Remember the overarching theme, 70%. Yeah, this is 70%. This is what you see, nuances and subtleties until it is activated in your chart personally. And now you get a, I'm just highlighting the ones I, I told you about because I'm really feeling them. Now you get a really good sense personally of what's moving through the transits. And then you can use your discerning process to see whether or not it's really true for you. So Ra's recommendations on six line days is that it's a day of rest. The way that you rest is that you get the best perspective that you can. What do we know about sixes? Long range view. So looking down the line of circuitry fully. Now this depends on the type that you are. For me, I'm a projector. I could climb the mountain and sit on a hill, you know, love climbing mountains. I love sitting on hills. Or you could, if I'm not feeling well, I might lie down in front of the TV and watch something. So it depends on the kind of view that you want to have. But a six line day is just a day where you sort of look around. It's a day to be aloof, a day to sit on the roof or the fence, whatever the case may be. Just look and see what's happened to you through the last five days of this transit. That's what you want to experiment with. Ross says the thing to recognize about six line days is that if you're under 30, the six line day is when you have the one night stands. The six line day is when you have crises. The six line day is when you get really messed up. The six line day is when you jump in and do all kinds of outrageous things. Now, if you're over 30, the six line day is I'm too tired. Leave me alone. Now I don't want to be bothered with that. Because remember, we have that shift and all of us, my friends, not just six lines, all of us are being um, conditioned into this kind of six line quality as we get closer and closer to 2027, you know, having that tripartite life process. All of us go through some element of that because we're entering into a six line era and there are so many, I don't know how many billions, you know, of people that have six lines in their design. So it's, it's a huge conditioning factor, even if you're not a six line yourself. So this applies, even if you're not a six line yourself. And I think about my past and go, yep, I totally relate with that. <laughs> 